Hello and welcome back to the channel Hello to all the new subscribers as well that come to the channel Thank you very much for joining us Today we're going out to cover a race recap of the Falkirk Half Marathon Now you may be wondering where the race will go in um, Well the funny story is as we got to the front of the start line the GoPro decided not to work actually as the commentator was counting down from 5, 4 I was still faffing about with it so I decided just to cut my losses there and then as I had crossed the line so it meant it was going to impact the time which I really didn't want um, because it was a race so I think for the first couple of miles I had messed around with it running at just over 7 minute miles might have had um, absolutely crazy pulling batteries in and out and stuff so as soon as things started to get tough I thought no this isn't happening today so I decided to make that call and just not vlog it hope you don't mind but it would have meant me really stopping and really working with the GoPro which is something I wasn't prepared to do considering it was a race as I've just mentioned so let's cover the race itself so you were happy to know that it was my first official race PB um, of 1 hour 40 minutes and 33 seconds um, unofficially on Strava I think my half marathon time is 1 hour 40 and 12 seconds I'll just put the two up here so you can compare them but the difference being massive difference it is the Strava one done on flat ground the Falkirk half marathon was over 300 feet elevation over the first 4 miles so it was really not an easy ride and I'm happy to be only a few seconds behind my unofficial half marathon PB which I'm sure everybody can appreciate because you're not running for that long it's hard, it's not easy especially at that pace so I want to speak a wee bit before I talk about the course itself um, I want to speak a bit about the lead up to the race um, so on the, the lead up to the race as you know we had all signed up for it months prior to this so this was the first ever Falkirk Half Marathon so you can appreciate teething problems I think I paid roughly about £30 through let's do it dot com and to be fair I didn't mind that but a few weeks prior or roughly about a month prior we got an email from the organisers of the Falkirk Half Marathon asking did we want to purchase a t-shirt along with our um, along with our ready initial purchase of the half marathon itself so the price quoted for that was £20 which in hindsight you could have paid but personally for me I felt it should have been incorporated in the cost and like every other race um, and going forward I feel this should be incorporated in the cost either that or don't do them because it's an additional expenditure onto you already your outlay then a week or so on for this or it may have been the same email we received a note asking us did we want to pay for a bib to be sent out to us prior to the event day and if so this was going to be 3 95 so again another cost an event that was going to cost 30 quid is now going to cost you 54 to 60 depending on who you signed up with um, so for that for me it's pretty disappointing when I contacted the organisers Adam I think it was I spoke to I think he's a race director I said Tim look what's what the issue here he advised just due to the cost of living a decision had to be made um, 
with regards to the cost of stuff which you can appreciate so that was pretty much my morning out the road with things regarding the race I have seen an email from the organisers now two days after saying that they've learned from this event and that next time round bibs will be posted out to us in advance um, so that's good to hear because nobody wants to pay extra money especially when things are hard so with all my moaning out the road I discover the great day that we actually had so to say the first four miles as I said previous was extremely hard um, it was all uphill you run through Calendar Park in the first four miles and then uphill again once you came out of Calendar Park so hard but I want to say it was so worth it on a flat course it was a free weed but on that course for the official result it was so nice to see the views of Falkirk so we passed um, what we call it, the tunnel going towards the Falkirk wheel see if you can find the photo that I put up here it was absolutely spectacular it was all lit up it just looked absolutely amazing then we came out the other side and you hit the Falkirk wheel which again was really something in itself it really surprised me living in Scotland you'd think I'd have been there before and I'm not um, again that was a massive surprise and then you came round down onto the canal you pass the canal boats and I thought that was like a dock and stuff the, um, you then head on the canal for several miles which again was flat which is good managed to pick up some real decent pace there um, I think mile 8 or 9 managed to hit almost 7 minute miles I was absolutely flying but then as the legs started to get tired I then had to pull back a bit which again is totally fine because when you see my splits they were just they were, they were absolutely amazing and I probably couldn't have done any better if I tried I would have liked to however do it in a flat course as I've already mentioned um, so you head from the Falkirk wheel and you head towards the Kelpies that's the big horses just got a picture of them up here um, absolutely stunning again this is where we were getting a lot of photos and stuff again I'm just kind of gutted that I missed it because that would have been a spectacular race to just vlog because it was so beautiful um, as for the likes of water stations and um, gel stations I think it was maybe a point with gels maybe around mile 7 I think maybe or mile 9 and roughly about them anyway so maybe about 6 and 9 or 10 but there was water, there was three water stations within that um, race and you know they were absolutely perfect couldn't have placed them any better if I'd tried so carrying on to the water um, you'll know my big thing just now is nutrition so nutrition was spot on in the day as well so I was taking the Morton gels one every sort of four miles so I took three gels within it um, I took you know another one of my big things is salt I took two salt tablets prior to the race so that did me for about an hour-ish talked up my levels got me good going into it and then mile four I took a gel before the race as well so mile four I took another salt tablet and then mile six took a gel and mile eight took another salt tablet 
and halfway around mile 10 or 11 I took another gel so again perfect absolutely perfect um, I don't know if the difference being this time round was what I was wearing so I was wearing the Hoka Carbon X it was a last minute choice so I had Hoka Carbon X with me had the Alpha Fly and had the Puma DV8 Nitro because I really couldn't decide because prior to the event I did see there was supposed to be a trail event now I would say anybody going into it it's about 30% trails uh, especially if it's been raining the ground will be very sludgy so choose your footwear wisely a lot of folk going into that race wearing Alpha Fly, Vapor Fly um, for me might have not been the right decision just due to the conditions of the ground even the Hoka Carbon X might have not been the right decision maybe a daily trainer like Reebok Flowrider or the A6 Nova Blast 2 or 3 now just something nice and cushioned with lots of grip would have done the trick nicely so for me I wore the Carbon X the Hoka Carbon X and I did have on the Primora calf sleeves now the interesting part about this is did they stop me from cramping up or was it the gel and nutrition that I had completely on point or was it the shoes so I think going forward I'm going to stick with the calf sleeves especially for um, races just to make sure that that increased blood flow was there in the legs and stuff for when exactly I needed it nutrition on point again as I said so uh, so many factors within a race that can go right or go wrong so today is two days after the Falkirk half and on my runner coach plan use code run with Stephen for a two week free trial it is 11 miles but three miles of that is supposed to be tempo which I'm definitely not going to do today although my legs feel pretty good don't want to push them too much because I did put them under a lot of stress on Sunday which I might add wasn't on the 5k as a Christmas plan so again the past few weeks you might have noticed that I have not put a 5k as a Christmas up because literally I've been trying to squeeze in the hard sessions from it and try to take the easy sessions easy as well as try and prepare for the half marathon so hopefully you can appreciate that I've definitely felt a massive increase in my fitness since then and I'm feeling so much faster so next week I will be back to it properly and we'll get it vlogged I will try and hit the sessions um, this week as well, the hard ones but again, today was 11 miles on plan so they were just I probably will finish on maybe 10, 9 or 10 but I definitely wasn't going to do that 10 poster mixed in between that date still need to be by the way so on the day met loads of people lots of friendly faces and I would say to that extent the route was well planned the organisers had it good and I would say with the amount of people there so there was just under supposed to be just under 2,000 but I think on the day I think maybe 1,171 turned up so it wasn't an overly busy race but it was good in that respect where the paths were quite narrow so it wasn't overfilled or the, the pathway wasn't too full to run and 
um, at the end managed to see some friendly faces and prior to the event so in case you're watching guys give us a shout so in the morning before the race Nicky and Callum and Vic come over to give me a shout Vic how are you doing? thanks for giving me a shout in the day I've um, never met Vic before but I know you're watching so thanks for that and who else did we see? so at the finish line I went looking for Davy Roberts as I knew Callum would find him so I went looking for him and oh you can't forget Scott Wears the last subscriber showcase um, he absolutely smashed it as well and um, it was just good to have so many people running that route with us that we knew and that everybody could relate to how hard it was going to be or not going to be what I sign up for next year? hmm let me think drop a comment and go what you think or you feel about that race from what you've seen or what you've heard um, again I think there's some teething issues that the organisers need to work out but it should hopefully get better year on year and it could turn out to be a very good race just be prepared for the trail sections as previously mentioned so again thanks everybody for tuning in you know I wholly appreciate every single one of you who tune in on a weekly basis, daily basis, monthly basis and really follow my journey along the way it's great to have so many folk come up and say hello because they follow the channel so if we can increase that following it would be very very helpful just drop that we subscribe down below and turn on that bell for notifications don't forget I have a whatsapp group running also that you can join it's free it's just a place where we can all talk to each other as runners ask helpful tips and advice and just a all round good place to share your thoughts and also discount codes too don't forget them so if you want to see that link have a wee look in the description below and you'll find the link for that there but again thanks very much for joining us today and hopefully to see you next week in a runner coach video see you in a bit Thanks guys